hello lovelies it's been a while i'm so happy to be back again thank you so much for the support so far in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful ruffles headband design please if you are just clicking in for the first time you're welcome to my youtube channel kindly do well to click on the subscribe button and also do well to click on the bell icon as it will enable you get notified whenever new tutorials are uploaded to all our old subscribers who have been following us back to back thank you so much for the support thank you for your comments thank you for the likes i see you all now the materials needed for today's tutorial include satin fabric foam alice headband measuring tape scissors matching color of thread needle and then your trimmings your stones your accessories as well as gum to attach it down to your design just like every headband design a design has the headband which will be the base and has a design attached to it now for my headband i have my alice headband here this is it and then we're going to be padding it using foam and then um, for the foam i'm going to be giving out the fabric so i'm sorry to say i'm going to be giving out the measurements that i have here for my foam so this is about 18 inches for the length and then the width is three inches so 18 by three inches for the foam and then for the alice band this is 14.5 inches and then the width here is one inch so this is it now coming over to the fabric to be used for our design we are going to be using two different pieces of fabric one piece of fabric is going to be used to wrap the alice band and then this is it i have 2.5 inches by 60 inches if this fabric is not enough you may be needing another piece of fabric but for this this is 2.5 inches for the width and then 60 inches for the length for the first piece of fabric which will be using to wrap the alice band and then the fabric for the design i have it here the measurement is 11 inches for the width and then 60 inches for the length 11 by 60 inches now starting to our design i'm going to get my foam and it's a little bit too wide so i'm going to apply gum at the edge and then fold down in total in order to decrease the width so as soon as that is done this is it and then i'm going to get my alice band and i'm going to apply gum on it and glue down the foam on it. So as that is as soon as that is done, I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to trim it. So I'll just trim it a bit so I can have the same shape as that of the Alice hairband. So as soon as all that is done, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to get the first piece of fabric, which is said is 2.5 inches by 60 inches. And we're going to be using it to wrap the Alice band. So this is my fabric and I'm going to start from one end this way. Now in place of your candle gum and glue gun, you can as well decide to make use of your UAU gum or your B6000 depending on whatever you have available.
So you now start wrapping your fabric on the Alice band. And as you wrap your fabric, you apply a little bit of gum and then you keep wrapping it in that order. So this is it and I'm done wrapping my headband and then we'll proceed with the design. So for our design, I have my piece of fabric here. We'll also be needing a matching color of thread and needle. Now I'm going to fold my fabric into two equal halves with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside. And then I'm going to be making a running stitch along this edge on the wrong side. I have my my uh, my thread has been knotted at the edge, so I'm just starting with my running stitch. So this is it, and then I'm getting to the end. I'm just going to have my needle and thread here. This is the part where I made my running stitch. So I'm just going to turn my fabric inside out this way. And then this brings me to the fine side. And on getting to the fine side, I'll still continue with my running stitch. And that is what I'll do until I get to the other end of the fabric. Right here, this is my fabric and I've made my running stitch all the way down to this other edge here, okay? So I'm going to pull my thread and then I have it this way. Then what I have to do is to manipulate this fabric that I have here to give me the design that I want. So I can now start going ahead to turn this round. I can just, I'll just keep turning it round. Keep turning it round this way, and then I'm going to go ahead to stitch this down together. So, after wrapping and getting your desired design or shape shape we'll still be making use of our needle and thread to tack everything through so this is my thread and needle now and i'm going to start passing it in and out to tack down this design that i just finished wrapping together so you just start at different several points until you are sure that yes it's now firm and then secured. So in this order, that's how I will keep tacking till I'm sure that I've been able to tack down this fabric together and it's fully secured. And then I'll get my Alice hairband and I'm going to be attaching it. You can attach it 
on the left side you can try to attach it on the right side now you can apply gum and then glue it down on the alice hairband or better still make use of your needle and thread to tack it down to the alice hairband then go ahead to embellish with whatever accessory you would want so that is how to go about it so right now i'm going to tack down this design together and as soon as i'm done i'll tack down it down to one side of my alice hairband and then i'll get back to show the finish so this is it i'm done tacking down this fabric together now i'm going to be placing it on my alice hairband for tacking so i'm just my needle and thread is coming out from the design the fabric and then i'm going to be passing it inside the alice hairband okay the fabric that was used to wrap because there's a foam inside So it's out now and then I will tack it inside the fabric. And then I'll take it, I'll go ahead again, take it back inside the fabric and then out from the other side of the fabric. Then I'll pass it inside the Alice hairband. So you see it's coming out from the Alice hairband. And then I'll go ahead, as soon as I'm done pulling my thread, I'll go ahead to pass it through the next spot that I want to tack to. So in that order, that is how I'll go about tacking down the design to the Alice band. So this is it now, it's out and I'm going to now take it forward and pass it through another spot where I want it to come out from. I'll pull my thread and as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead to tack it down to my design to join it together. So in that order, and as soon as I'm done with this, I will get back. So I'm done tacking, and then this is my design. So this is how it turns out to be. I'm going to cut this off. Then you can try to go ahead to embellish with your accessories, your stones your pearls whatever you want to embellish your work with and then that's it for this design i had to further embellish my work with stones and appliques i just added gum to the wrong side of the stone and the pearl and i glued it down to my alice band and then this is it thank you so much for watching this brings us to the end of today's tutorial until our next tutorial again see you please don't forget to subscribe